So, this ghost face right here, right? Everybody thinks that this ghost face is Stu. And I thought that too at first. Like, when I looked at the picture of the ghost face, you know, standing in, the, in an apartment or whatever. You know, that one picture. I always thought that was Stu, right? But looking at this and, uh, you know, theorizing here. I'm just going to be theorizing a little bit, okay? Like, what people actually think and what I think is very possible, all right? So, I think that this is the most possible, like, possible theory that there probably is, right? Um, that this actually could be Leslie Mocker, uh, Stu Mocker's uh, sister. Now, Stu Mocker's sister, right? She was the mother of Vince... Mocker, right? So, kind of makes a lot of sense for her to want to get revenge one way or another. That's what I'm thinking. Um, so, I think that makes the most sense. That theory makes the most sense out of, you know, the theory of, you know, it, it being Stu. Personally, I think that it's going to be Leslie, personally. Um, but, I think it makes the most sense. Because it, it, it kind of reminds me of, you know, Miss Loomis, the Miss Loomis thing. A lot of people don't really want, you know, this to happen. They don't want Leslie to be, like, involved or nothing because it kind of copies Scream 2 in some way. You know, the whole Billy, you know, mother uh, revenge thing. But honestly, I wouldn't mind it. I think that Leslie Mocker, we don't know anything about her, right? We don't know anything where she's been this whole time. We don't know, you know, what she's been doing, right? So, I could totally see her, you know, being the cult leader of this movie. Now, obviously, we won't find out for sure. Probably until Scream 7, you know, because this killer right here, you know, we're gonna, they're definitely going to, you know, they sh should definitely wait until Scream 7 to reveal this killer. You know, with the old mask, because the other killers could get revealed, but this don't reveal this killer until Scream 7, the leader, okay? Have this killer get away, <clears throat> like I said, this killer could get away with it or something, because he's the leader, it's, it, you know, the leader, so it would make the most sense for you to wait until Scream 7 to, you know, reveal uh, this killer, um... Instead of reveal them, you know, at the end of Scream 6. Because this is the cult leader, okay? I think this is the cult leader. It has to be the cult leader. Because this, like, the other ghost faces, the, the other killers are just wearing, you know, regular, you know, ghost face masks. And this is definitely the cult leader. So, I definitely think it makes a lot of sense for it to be Leslie Mocker. She definitely, you know, will probably, she probably wants revenge. You know, for Stu's death, probably. Um, and given the fact that if Sydney, let's just say Sydney or something like that, um, comes back, right, and Scream 7. Well, there, there's your storyline right there. You could have Leslie Mocker come, you know, get revealed as a killer, right, as the cult leader. Stu's sister. And, you know, she, you know... Reveals herself or whatever to Sydney or whatever and tries to get revenge on Sydney because Sydney was the one that killed Stu, right? So it only makes the most sense, you know, for you know her to go after Sydney as opposed to anyone else because she would want revenge. That's the person she wants revenge on, right? Is Sydney because Sydney was the one that you know killed Stu, so. I think that makes a lot of sense, personally. I think that's, you know, that's what I'm rolling with, personally. I think it makes a lot of sense. Especially if Sydney, if K Nev Campbell comes back, you know, for Scream 7. Um, you have your story right there, you know. You could have this killer get away with it. Um, you could, you know, hint, you know, you could give us a little hint, you know, leading up to Scream 7 or something. And then Scream 7, you know, you got, you know, the reveal at the end. And you got this killer, you know, revealing himself, him or her, um, 
and you could have Leslie Mocker be involved, like or Leslie Mocker getting revenge on Sydney or something like that. Uh, that's what I think. I think it makes sense. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think about this theory? Do you guys think that Leslie Mocker, that this is Leslie Mocker, Stu's sister, uh, the cult leader? Because I think it makes a lot of sense personally um, for her to go after Sydney. You know, don't reveal her until, you know, Scream 7. Personal, that's that's what I would do personally. I would wait until Scream 7 to reveal her. And then, and then after that, you could reveal, you know, after that, you could, uh, you know, have her go, you know, after Sydney, whatever. And obviously, Sydney will ultimately, like, kill her. But um, that's just what I think. Same with Stu. If it were to be Stu as well. I would want Sydney. I I kind of would want Sydney to be involved because it makes the most sense. So, with that being said, though, y'all, comment down below. What do you guys think about this theory and my idea of you know Leslie, this killer being Leslie Mocker? Um, let me know in the comments if you guys like it. If you guys hate it, um, comment down below. Give me your guys' ideas as well, and um. Comment down below. Also, let me know. Do you guys think that this killer is going to get revealed in Scream 7? Like me, do you guys agree with me on that? Do you guys agree that this is the cult leader? Because I definitely think 100% that it is. But as always, let me know in the comments.